my top retailers always, always, always rock stars, just like Sheila. Megan Roloff is a rock star, and I am super excited that she is going to show you guys what she does at her home show. This girl knows how to work her business. And I am telling you what, every single month out of my entire team, she is constantly in the top three. Constantly. Top three, top five. Okay, not for February, she says. But still, top five. I'm telling you what. So pay attention. Watch what she does. Jot some notes down because you're going to learn a lot. So Megan Roloff.
Let's see, are you happy? Uh-huh. I know. So her third week in business, she knew she had way too much going on, so she just had a catalog going around, a catalog show, and it was $200. So how much did she make? $100. $100. Are you really happy about that? You did nothing but drop off some catalogs and pick them up. So her last week in business, all this, are you ready for this? She had an $800 show. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> and how much did she make? $400. $400. Going home. That's $100 an hour, Keely. Do you, know, do you guys know anybody that makes $100 an hour? No. I just did. I did twice last week. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, so how much did you make working about 12, 16 hours for the whole month? $1,000. $1,000. $1,000, ladies. And this is what I did part-time for a year when I decided I was going to quit my job and do this full-time. I did not wear jewelry before I started. I had no sales skills, not that I do right now either. But um, <laughs> If you know someone who might be interested or if you want to hear a little bit more about it, I'll give you guys some information before you leave tonight. So thank you, Keely. You get your five million dollars although you're the hostess. Um, and we got some more letters. Where did I put them? There we go. You guys ready for the next one? I have to take a peek. Like, I haven't done it a million times. G. Great. Woo! Heather got it. So, Keely, how many did we give a five for that, huh? <laughs> She's great. So, G is for our Goldie Guarantee. Um, I would not represent a company that did not back up their product, product like Premier does. So, if something breaks, let's say a class falls off or a stone falls out, within the first 60 days, we're going to get you a brand new piece of jewelry for free because it's a manufacturing defect, okay? It does not cover wear and tear, so it does not cover your three-year-old ripping it off your neck. That, that's not covered. You could, you could send it to me and I might be able to put it back together for you, but you can't get a new piece for something like that. Um, after 60 days, it's $5 plus tax. So let's say Heather, um, let's say the, the uh, what say you have on, the pendant there, the, the magnet falls out um, like four months from now, and she took good care of it, she didn't wear it a ton. Um, she's gonna call me up and I'm gonna get a brand new piece of jewelry for $5, okay? You don't need a receipt, you don't need the um, packaging either, so that's awesome. And then we're gonna talk about wear and tear here in a minute. And what's not covered, you guys ready for this? Here's another letter. S. Sassy. Sassy. No, sexy. <laughs> sexy gets too many the dollars. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. So S is for the six S's that we never do with our jewelry on, okay? Because this will void our guarantee. You don't swim in your jewelry. You don't shower in your jewelry. You don't sweat. And I don't mean a, um, everyday sweat. I mean like excessively go to the gym with your big pendant necklace on, walk it around. You don't look cool. Um, <laughs> don't sleep with your jewelry on. Um, spray, this one is huge, um, and I think most women don't know this. Hairspray and perfume have alcohol in it. So you should do all that gussing up before you put your jewelry on. Jewelry should be icing on cake, okay? So the last thing that you do. And then one more that we've just recently added is sanitize. Because anybody sanitize a lot at work? You do, Heather? Well then, you probably don't want to wear our rings to work, and if you're going to wear them, you want to take them off, put them in your pocket, then sanitize and you can put them back on, okay? And our jewelry is not meant to last for years and years. You're not going to hand it down to your grandchildren. You need to rotate it, but it will last many, many seasons, okay? Take good care of it. And do not keep your jewelry in the bathroom, for crying out loud. It is horrible. You guys ready for the next letter? W. Wonderful. Wonderful. Cutie is wonderful. I feel like good though. I know. You should be getting a big hat over here. So W is for wish list. So each one of you has um, a customer's receipt in your folder. We're going to use that as our wish list, okay? And I don't want you to be afraid of jotting that all up. And whatever you don't get later, we're just going to put a nice little line through, but then I have record and you have record of what was on your wish list, okay? Um, the person with the longest wish list gets three Viva dollars, okay? So you really want to use those wish lists, and it makes it so much easier to check out when you know what you want. You guys ready for the next letter? And then we're going to get to the fun stuff. Hey. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so A is for accessorizing. So did you ladies know that 70% of your wardrobe should be accessories? So jewelry, hats, scarves, belts. And you can keep your wardrobe very simple. I asked you guys to wear solid color tops today because jewelry pops better on it. And it's also much easier to um, mix, <coughs> mix and match your, your wardrobe when you're solid colors. Um, and how you put yourself together really directly affects how people treat you. I mean, I know uh, this morning, 
I went out with no jewelry on. Mm -hmm. I did. I went to um, just the grocery store. <laughs> I know this is horrible, but I was like this, you know. I hair not brush, nothing. I was like, oh, I hope nobody sees me. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But when you look good, you feel good. So when you have your jewelry on, your makeup says your hair is good, you kind of like add a little pep in your step, right? Um, so accessorizing is very important because it will put a big oomph in your uh, wardrobe here. So we are gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some combos here. And this is my Mandy, she's my assistant. Please don't laugh because she has no head. Um, but you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna take off my jewelry so you can see just by, I have one, two, three, there's another one here, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of jewelry on. Um, so I'm gonna pass those around. So this one's called Eclipse. And actually, this is probably my favorite ring because I get so many compliments from men on it. So you know it's cool if you get compliments from men on it. Uh, this one's called Starry Night. Uh, I have a uh, bracelet on with my watch, and that actually softens the look of a, the watch a little bit to see what happens when I take it off. Now, these bracelets actually come together. Um, my jewelry's over here. These bracelets come together, and they are a set of three. And I love them. I've loved them since we've had them for a couple years now. Uh, they're called Deco, and they stretch. You see that? So they fit everybody, and they look great on everybody. So you know, one on one hand, one on the other hand. We're all three together. They won't wake the dead. They're not those real loud bangles. So those are called Deco. Um, my favorite, most popular, all my hostesses get this watch, almost. Cairo, comes in gold and silver. It looks great on everybody. And my necklace here, Oh wait, I forgot my thumb ring. Oh, I got a little thumb ring. It has faith on it. I also like I the one, there's one that has hope on it too. I can get that off. And my necklace here is called A-List. And I'm actually gonna keep this one up here. Can everybody see the jewelry combos? If I use this mannequin up here? Yeah. Um, so this one's called A-List. It's really become my favorite, and I hate that. I've had it for quite a while, but can you, it's just I'm recently sorry, become can my you favorite. Can you a little more into the center, so I'll, I'll move here. Um, yeah, I won't pass anymore. I'll just maybe go for the right fashion here. part of it. Here, I'll go right here. Uh, <laughs> so a list. Um, you can also wear long. You guys see that? So a lot of our multi-stranded necklaces, you could just open up long like that. And I can layer this with other pieces as well. Um, I'll show this in a minute because you guys see the look with no jewelry like it's just not the same impact when you don't have any jewelry yet. I do have the matching earrings for A-list and when you put um, I know a lot of girls are like no I'm not matching matching but when you get a matching set together it makes it dressier and you don't have to think about it that's the beauty of a matching set um, and then when you have time you can switch it up with different things and then it becomes a little bit more casual but I like these um, A-list earrings with my uh, with my A-list so uh, Mandy here is going to demonstrate some stuff for us. Um, this, this pin here is called Rosette, and I love putting pins on jewelry. Um, even if you have like stuff at home, you know, from grandmas and stuff, you don't know what to do with the pin, clip it on a necklace. It really adds that drama. You see that? It adds that drama, that flair to it. Um, so that one's called Rosette, and I love this necklace. I always start with it because it's so dramatic when I go like that. They're like, oh! So this was called Opening Night. Um, about 25 different ways to wear this piece. I'm only going to show you a few. I like to tie it in a knot too, like so. And then you got to have a clip it. So these clippets are $10, gold and silver, well worth the investment. It will change how you look at a long necklace. You can wear it off to the side like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. Yeah, it's so simple to do. And then you can also layer. Uh, wear it in several layers. Just throw it around your neck several times. So you can put a knot right here if you want to. You can add that pin back there, that rosette pin, or the um, curls made out pin is awesome on there. See that? Adding again that drawing to it. Um, and then I'll <coughs> This is a little bit, I think, more casual. And pearls have become the staple in your wardrobe um, because they are, you can dress them up and dress them down. So you see that? And then we can just put it down like that. If you want to put a pin right there, you can put a pin right there. Oh, ruffles looks gorgeous on there too. You can put ruffles in the middle or even up on the side right there. 
Um, so this one's called Opening Night, and again, there's like 25 different ways to, to wear it, but I won't go through them all this evening. Uh, but I want to go back to what I had on A-list, and I, I like to layer A-list, so see it looks gorgeous long, but I like to layer it with, um, what is this called, Ignite. Isn't that cool? I love that, that together. So it gives that chunkier look. Long necklaces are going to make you look thinner because you're, you're drawing that um, line down the center of the body. You could also, I believe, double this one up like that with a clip it as well. So now you have a shorter look. And then you could put the um, styling pendant. So big pendants make you look 10 pounds thinner because it's a diversion. It's calling everybody's attention up here, and that's what you want. So that's why I really focus on necklaces. This is your expression center right here. Um, so that's styling on night. And then, oh my god, I didn't tell you guys. If you say gotta have it, you get three diva dollars. <laughs> you better start saying gotta have it. <laughs> gotta have it! <laughs> um, this is another one of my favorites. It's a little bit of an edgier necklace. It's called Main Event. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got um, four strands of pearls and two chains. That's what makes it a little bit edgy. And we could do so much with this. We could put the Camille pin on it, like that. Um, we could put the pearl sign out pin it, like that so. Oh, there were three <laughs> diva dollars. Who said that, Tony? Oh, that's my girl over there. Um, I'm going to put the personal style pendant on it, though, because this like, drops it down a notch here and makes it a little bit more um, casual. You see how that did that for that necklace? Um, we can also put on, now they sell this, this thing here, this, we call it Safari, uh, but they sell this at Neiman Marcus for like $995. I'm sure it's pure silver. I'm sure of it for that much money. Uh, but that's called Safari. You see that's like a funky kind of look there. Um, but we can also open this up and so it comes braided like this, but we can open it up and wear it long as well. And all you have to do is unbraid this, okay? It's just like here. If you buy this piece tonight, um, I will show you how to do it before you leave so you know, but it's just like here, braiding it. So I'm gonna unbraid it. We can also wear it short like that. Okay. So there it is, unbraided, right? Still, still very pretty. And you know what's beautiful is a lot of our necklaces come with these four, uh, these extenders. This one's like four inches, so you can really wear it much longer too. You don't have to wear it. You can wear it down here a little bit more. Um, and then we can open this up by taking a chain, one of the chains. Isn't that cool? I just think that's so cool. And we can take the rosette, or uh, rosette, uh, and add some drama to it. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Or with the um, Camille pin on there or anything you really want to. And then we can also wear this as a choker by taking the two strands, um, the two metal strands and putting it behind our neck and clipping it like so, right? So now we have a choker and then we can take the picture around so we can see Camille. Uh -huh, I'm gonna do that and I'm like, watch girls. And you look at coming and going, you see that? Is that a guy we have in And then, oh, this one's hot, you guys. This one's hot, and, and the name fits it. It's called Hot Spot. Copper's going to be huge for summertime. Isn't it just a funky piece? It doesn't even lay flat on you, but I love it. Um, there's earrings that match. There's a bracelet you can match with a little bit of turquoise in it. But watch where Premier did. They put this thing, this little clip on here, right? So I could take this thing off and unclip so I can take it off. I can wear it long. I like it. so. Isn't it cool? And then watch. We, there's a bracelet that matches it. So we can add the bracelet onto it. Like this. And we can hook it here and here to get a little bit of a fuller effect, a different look. Or we could take that bracelet and then we got all the layers there. Isn't that just awesome? I love that piece. So that's called Hot Spot. Um, and then I'm going to go back to one of our good old standbys here. This is called um, Infusion. And Infusion, do, do are any of you girls wear gold? 
No, really? Just one of you? You guys are missing out. And I know, this is my first gold piece that I would actually wear. So it's a great transition piece. Um, to trans and it's that matte gold, so it's not so bold. Um, but it looks beautiful layered with pieces. It looks gorgeous layered with the promenade. Or you can take, um, promenade is also long enough to wear as a choker as well with the clip it. You can also take this one where it is a clip it, you can wear this as a belt. I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you like this one, we'll play with it later. Oh, but wait. So this is one of our new pieces, Enchantment, and there's earrings that match it. And it's very lightweight. It looks like it's heavy, but it's lightweight. Um, is it, that's just beautiful together. I love it. it. It's called it, uh, it's enchantment with infusion, so it adds a little bit more depth to the look. But you can also take the um, enchantment and double it up, right? So now we have a, 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 a little bit of a chunkier look here. And then I forgot to bring it, but the um, adventure. Okay, adventure pen it looks awesome on there. So and then I've got to show you guys. So these long necklaces, they're a must-have. I call them my go-to pieces, okay? So you've got to have a long necklace. Um, because there's about like eight different ways you can wear it, maybe more. So this one's called Lady Fair. I'm going to use Lady Fair because we're going into the summertime here, so the summer months. Um, so the first way I'm going to wear it is a scarf, right? The long and lean look, like that. I put it on just like a scarf, very simple. Can everybody see over there? Um, and then if you want to put a pin on there, I think sundial looks great on here. <laughs> or you can open it up into a lariat like so, also very fitting because it's a longer necklace. Or you can wear it now, when you buy a, um, a long necklace at a department store, it does not typically open up. Okay, all of our long necklaces open except for that long pearl, that opening night does not open. So what we can do with this is we can make a belt with it, like that and like that. Now, if you're the size of Mandy, let's bring it back around here. Put a little pin right there. It looks awesome like that. Um, you can also wear it as a bracelet by wrapping it around your um, wrist several times with a clip it. You gotta have a clip it. And then we're gonna go back to the clip it here. So we're gonna make a smiley face with our clip it. You see that? And what this does is it's not gonna choke you in a half hour. You know, when you wrap a necklace around your neck and you're like, ah, and you can't have to pull it down. The clip it will stop it, it from doing that. And we can also go like this with it. So crisscross is what you need to do. Bring it up, okay? Um, now if you want to add a pin to this, you can add a pin. Um, sundial looks awesome on there. Camille, any of these pins really. If you want to add some drama to it, put the um, rosette on there. Or you can add, now our pendants, I, I didn't even explain this to you guys before. Most of our pendants are magnets. Isn't that awesome? So you can put it on anything, like so. So it gets that little pop of color that you're looking for, especially in the summer months. Pop of color is huge. Um, and then you can also wear it as a choker, like so. Oh. Like so. You see that? You can put a pin on there if you want to. Or you can take two long necklaces. So this one's called the Arabian Nights. You can take two long necklaces and twist them together with a clip it, of course. Put a pin on there, it looks beautiful like that. Um, and then I want to show you guys one more technique, and I think I'm done with that. Uh, this technique is called flipping. So you're gonna, you're, you don't use a clip it with this. You want to actually wrap it around your neck twice. And I'm gonna use the center stage necklace and put it over it and I'm going to flip this around the Arabian Nights about three or four times. So one, two, three. So now they become one. You see yeah. that? So you could do that with any long necklace that you can wrap around your neck. Any beads with a flexible pendant necklace. Megan, can you turn can this way? Yes. Here. Can you guys see? See? Sorry, I'm poking. These are my guests over here. That's why I'm like rocking over here. Okay, and then, so what did you guys think about the jewelry? Love it. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it. You want it all, don't you? And I know, and I know you're probably thinking, how can I possibly get all that jewelry without breaking the bank, right? Right, okay, so I need a volunteer for $5,000. I'm just going to use Keely again. That's okay, I'll use Keely. But I usually get a volunteer for $5,000. So Keely, come on over here. And we have one more letter. 
So the question is ready. H. Ha! Ha gets too deep in the eyes. Yeah, give or two. So H is actually for hostess plans. I'm going to share this with you guys because you don't have to break the bank to get all this jewelry and update your wardrobe. You can actually get it for half price and free. So Keely here was a smart girl and she invited me over. Um, and I'm going to show you what she's going to get for doing that. So with an average show that's $600, Keely, put your hands up. Yeah. You might need to put them together. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> So you get $180 in free jewelry, okay? And then you get another um, $100 in bonuses here for keeping your day, 10 people um, being in attendance. There's a couple more I won't bore you with all the details. Another eight half price items. And then you get, like that wasn't enough, you get another item for free just for using your half price items. That's a lot of jewelry, right? You're like, oh. So ladies, we're gonna play a game with those cute little purses I gave you, are you ready? Oh, and you know what? You need your little fortune cookie over there. So we'll just have, that's a lot of jewelry, isn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So, ladies, you ready? We're going to play a little game called Deal or No Deal. You guys heard of Deal or No Deal? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, tonight I'm Howie, but I have hair in the fall. Um, and there's $9 million in these cases. However, there is anywhere from $25, $50, or $75 in free jewelry. You're also supposed to say, ooh, ooh yeah. <laughs> but the only way you get to see how much is in there is if you deal, okay? And if you deal, that means I'm coming over, setting up my jewelry, getting you $300 in free jewelry, plus whatever's in here is an added bonus. If you say no deal, well, then no free jewelry for you guys. You got it? And you're going to be a real winner if you deal. You are, because you're going to update your whole wardrobe with some pieces of free jewelry. And there's a little twist here. Keely, our hostess, cannot open her fortune cookie because she's got something in there, too. She can't open it unless three of you deal. So the heat is on. <laughs> okay, so how are we going to start with you? Is it a deal? Oh, you know you want to know what's in there. Okay, we'll come back to you, Heather. Erin, is this a deal? Deal. Oh, yeah. that's my girl. Tony, is it a deal? Deal, baby. Okay, deal. <laughs> oh, we need one more, Heather, and she gets to open hers. Okay, I'll Oh, deal. we didn't have to twist her arm. So ladies, open your purses and see what's in them. How much is on those suckers? I know there's a high roller in there somewhere. 25. 25. 50. 50? 50? Oh, we got two fifties. All right. And Keely, you get to open your suit. What do you got? Twenty-five. Twenty-five extra. Awesome. So, ladies, we have to pick um, a date before you leave tonight so she can get her bonus. Okay. So I'll take the purses back. Thank you. And we got a couple more letters here. And go. You guys ready? So this is like your last chance to rack up some new dollars. You ready? S. Yes. Sassy. Sassy, still no sexy. We got sassy last time. Did we? Yes. <laughs> two. Okay. <laughs> two. She gets two for sexy. So S is for um, survey. So each one of you has a survey in your folder. Could you take those out, please? Oh, I forgot. You guys want to know. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go through these together. Okay. Uh, so don't worry about the talk just yet. Let's go through the questions together. Number one, what did you like most about the show tonight? Right on your hand. Number two, our hostess needs three bookings to receive an extra bonus, which we got. Very good. Would you like to help her out and go on your own guilt-free shopping spree? I love it all. Let's set a date. For those of you that deal, you need to check that one. Let's schedule in a month or two. Maybe you said no, no deal. Oh, we never really came back to you, did we? Uh, sorry. <laughs> in a month or two. <laughs> and number three, you're awesome, Megan, but I think I'd rather be very live in scarves and necklaces. And uh, I can arrange that. <laughs> number three, would you like some information about Premier as a business opportunity for you or somebody else? Check yes, I'm curious so I can give you some more information. It's just information, ladies. Um, Megan, this sounds way too good to be true. I don't have time or I'm not comfortable meeting and talking to people. Number four, 
If your hostess became a jeweler, would you help her off to a great start and have a show for her? You should all check yes right there, okay? Or you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, my friend would love free jewelry or could use some big money. Here's her name and number. Use your cell phone to get it out, get it out and put it on there. This is just a referral. You do not have to put something in here. Um, but if you do, I will love you for it. Um, put her name and number. Whether Check whether it's for fashion, jewelry, or extra income, okay? Um, and then when you're all done, it has to be filled out completely in order to win. So if Keely picks a survey that's not filled out completely, we're going to pick another one. So make sure it's filled out completely. Five is optional. And put your name and address and all that good stuff and hold it up like this. And we will collect them. Okay, so then I collect all the surveys, um, and then I tell the ladies, count your diva dollars, and whoever has the most diva dollars wins their prize. Um, and then I collect all my jewelry, and I tell them, give me five minutes, ladies, and I will put all the jewelry um, back up here, and I want you to come up here so we can play some dress up. So, um, and that's it. scars from the incentive so store or a ribbon necklace or if I haven't I've been bad on um, ordering stuff I'll just give them $10 off their order um, something like that so and they love it they love that diva dollar game I'm telling you Megan that was amazing Very awesome. I love her verbiage did you guys get all that verbiage Amy Logan your team is rocking you guys do awesome home shows well guess what the Boss family has good home